solve this first problem together. We're going to do 328 times 4. Solving this mathematical problem came easy for these fifth graders at Albert Palmer Elementary School in Wilmington, South Bridge neighborhood. In fact, outside of this classroom, students at the school who are mostly minority and low income are all demonstrating outstanding performance in subjects such as reading and math. One of the initiatives of the district is collaborative pairs, letting them work together, talk about what they're doing, what they're learning. I think that has helped a great deal because they have to talk about what's going on, problem solve together, even sometimes debate. The technique is definitely paying off for Albert Palmer Elementary because it's doing well at closing the achievement gap between white and minority students, a process that's ongoing. What's real key is we don't just close the gap. We have to close the gap by raising everyone. So one group is here, one group is here. We don't close the gap this way. We have to close the gap this way. So when we do that, that speaks volumes about our expectations for all students, not just certain groups of students. If you take a look at the Delaware Comprehensive Assessment Report, you see the education gap is smaller between fifth grade African American and white students in reading. For an example, during the 2010-2011 school year, there was a 24% gap and only a 20% gap in the 2012-2013 school year. When it comes to math scores among this group, there's still room for improvement. However, one thing is certain, Albert Palmer isn't alone in this journey to close the education gap. 16 other schools in all three counties of Delaware are also making great strides in the classroom, and good relationships as well as communication may just be the key to this success. Before we can even get to the teaching, we have to make a connection with students. So the relationship is one thing. So in education, we talk about relationship, relevance, rigor, but relationships should be first because I can have a beautiful lesson plan all laid out, but if I'm not connecting to the students, that falls apart. It's the same kind of connection Principal Veronica Wilkie at Hanby Elementary School in North Wilmington echoes. Her school, along with others that have been highlighted for their achievements, will receive $50,000 each to keep up the momentum. At Hanby, establishing a relationship with parents to promote learning at home is just as important. Our students need to know how to think through the problems, not just in math and reading. They need to get those critical thinking skills done, be able to extend it, take an item in, the, in their textbook and not just find the answer, but how does that answer relate to something else in your life? To achieve that, ideas are already starting to roll in from parents and teachers looking to enhance the learning experience for students. Principal Wilkie says although the school has come a long way, there's still work to be done. We want to do things with STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. How can we incorporate that more into the school day um, as well into the after school programs? Meanwhile, back in Southbridge, this is the third time Elbert Palmer was recognized for outstanding performance and second time receiving state money that Ms. Smith would like to see go toward intervention. That's our 30 minute additional instruction time each day where we're able to small group instruct our students in either fluency, decoding, comprehension. So it gives them more reading exposure in a smaller group setting. Although there's still time to decide how money will be spent, in the classroom, Ms. Smith continues to focus on building strong relationships with her students in order to keep them on the right path. Once they know you care, you have them. You have them. But you have to be stern, and I am stern, and love them at the same time. And if you can do both of those, it'll work. Very good.